All right, so let's drill down a little bit and we're gonna drill out by, drill down by zooming out initially, okay? So when you first sign into Trello, this is what you're met with. I mean, obviously, if you have a new account, you're not gonna see all this. I mean, this has been built up over the course of a couple of years. And these boards that are up at the top are starred boards. So these are the ones that right now I'm accessing the most frequently. And the way that you make a board uh, starred is you simply hover over the board. So let's take uh, this one and the test for VIP and I'm gonna put a star on it. And now as you can see, it's up there now at the top. So let me unstar that. So the very first thing that we're going to do is create a board. We're gonna go up here in the top right hand corner and click the plus sign. Then we're gonna to go to create board. Let's give it a title and let's just call this one my first board. And for now, we're not gonna add a team. We're just going to click create. So we're gonna keep this super basic and we're gonna build on that so you can learn hands-on all the functionality available to you inside of Trello. So we're gonna create three lists. The first one is gonna to be to do, click save. The second one is going to be doing. And the third will be done. On the right, we may want to change our background. With the basic plan in Trello, you could change your colors and pick whichever color you like best. If you have an upgraded plan, then it allows you to add photos. This is absolutely, in my opinion, not something worth upgrading for. I do use it because it's available to me, but it's not something that I would upgrade uh, for. So now what I'd like you to do is make a list of to-do items in your to-do list. Each task is going to have its own card. Because remember, this is our board, which is, in t which is called My First Board. Each one of these, to do, doing, and done, is considered a list. And now we're going to add cards to those lists. I've added three items here. While we're here, I wanna show you a very cool way to add items to a list. So I did a Google, a Google search for ideas for online courses. And this is the first thing that I stumbled upon. And I like that it's in a list format because this is going to allow me to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, because this, this is a realistic way that you might use this. So I'm going to copy highlight and copy this list. We're going to go back over to Trello and now I'm going to paste the list and watch what happens. As soon as I pasted it and clicked add, Trello asks me, do I want to create 70 cards? And I'm going to say yes. How about that? So now I've got this beautiful list of content ideas. So now I've just saved a ton of time creating a list. Now, of course, that could be your own content. You could sketch out a list in any note-taking app, on a Google Doc, anywhere, and just paste it just the way that I did into a card, and Trello will recognize that this is a list of items and ask you if you want to create separate cards for each. All right, so now I'm gonna pick one of these cards uh, to start working on. So let's choose this one, how to build a website. Let's give it a more detailed description. So my mini description, I mean, my, my description is a task list for a mini course, how to build a website using Squarespace. So now I'm going to add a checklist of all the things that I want to include. So we're gonna call this lectures slash videos slash lessons. Okay, so in this card, I have added a list of things that I want to make sure that I include 
in the lectures, videos, and lessons. But I'm going to add another checklist for graphics because I know that with it for this course and in promoting this course, there's a list of graphics that I'm going to need to get created. So I've made a list of all the graphics that I will likely need for this course. Let's give it a due date. Sometimes I like to add images to my cards. It helps keep me motivated. Uh, it also helps to stay top of mind. So I'm going to click attachment. I'm going to click a computer. And as you can see, the image is right up there at the top of the card formatted nicely. Now, once I start working on this card, I am going to move it over to my doing list. And then of course, when I'm done, I get that great satisfaction of moving it over to my done list. So now what I'd like you to do is stop the video and create your first board, make three lists, to do, doing, and done. And in your to-do list, put at least three action items of things that you need to get accomplished this week.